And I'm proud to be an Okie from Muskogee. A place where even squares can have a ball. We still fly, oh glory, down at the courthouse. And white lightning still the biggest thrill of all. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> How's it going? I got that song stuck in my head for some reason. I love that song. But anyways, what do we got here? I'm okay, I keep looking at my phone. Get this phone out of here. So yeah, today we got a little midweek update. I got all kind of stuff to show you. I found some junk at the thrift store. I got some stuff in the mail. Oh, all kinds of stuff. So anyways, first, what do we got on the list? Thrift store finds. Oh, and did we find some stuff? Look at this axe I found at the thrift store. It's called uh, Brown Camp Hardware Company, Des Moines, Iowa. That's cool. It's a, I, I, uh, it's a floor, flooring, floor lathing axe or something like that, a hewing axe. I showed a picture of it to Jamie at Journey North, and yeah, he said that it's a pretty neat piece. It has a, it's got the beveled on this side, and then it's flat on the back, so you can, something like this. Something to do with that, but anyways. That's a cool old axe. 35 bucks. I, th I didn't think that was too bad of a deal. I like it. The head's a little loose. Maybe you guys got some suggestions on it, because it's loose down here, too. I mean, I think if I pulled the wedge and everything out and then reset it, probably be all right so yeah that's cool so yeah I got that cool axe and then speaking of axes I got some handles at the hardware store the good old hardware store axe handles so I thought I'd put this handle on arts arts uh, axe so we'll get that going and then I bought I bought this little hatchet handle it's pretty fat look at that thing I sort of bought it for this for this we'll see if we'll see if I can make it fit one of these days I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and get me some real handles from Killinger but we'll see what we can do with these and then what else did I get some stuff in the mail I know you see these friends here we gonna get to them we gonna get to them I got some stuff for that XL 76 that Andrew gave me I got a, a new rim sprocket clutch um, drum for that XL76 and a bucking spike for it too. Oh yeah. I haven't even looked at this guy. Let me see if I can open it. Where's my knife blade? I had a blade. Oh, here's a blade right here. That'll work. So yeah, finally, got, sort of got through the week. I got a day off tomorrow, so. Oh, look, there's a nice little bucking spike for that guy. Nice. That's cool. So yeah, a couple little upgrades for that saw that Andrew gave me. Nice. Oh, and I put a bar and chain on it, too. Here, let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Put a bar and chain on her. Look at that bad boy. I had to modify it a little bit to make it work, but she works. So yeah, some bucking spikes. She'll be perfect. But yeah, see, look at that. She fits right in with my collection. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, what else we got? Oh, so the thrift store finds, along with this ax, I just happened to stop in there and then of course he had some chainsaws in there so <laughs> and I thought he you know I thought well he's probably gonna you know want too much for him but he made me a good deal his name's Troy at the uh, thrift store down there and he got these two in a in a storage unit and he wasn't sure if they ran or not so he sold me this 
Husqvarna 350. Looks like it's a pretty decent saw. The chain brake handles broke off, but I can get another one of those. And then a nice little Husqvarna 50. I think that's a Rancher 50. Looks like a pretty clean saw. The top cover's busted. Let me see here. I had it off of here. Come on. Yeah, the top cover is busted, but I can get another one of those, but the rest of it's in good shape. And it'll probably run. They both feel like they got good compression. And then this super clean Super 2. I've got all three of these for 150 bucks. That's not a bad deal, huh? I didn't think so. I cleaned them up a bit. They were, they were like super dirty. The, the Super 2 was fairly clean, but these two guys were super grungy, so... This is after I wiped them a little bit. So yeah, some more chainsaws to play with. And then, I got this. Um, so this is one that I did for a, a guy that I work with, Doug. I built this saw for him. Well, I didn't really build it, but I got it running for him and, and uh, sold it to him a couple years ago. He uses it for cutting firewood. And I painted it desert tan because he was in desert storm so i thought i'd make him a desert storm version of the xl12 but she needs some love he said she needs a tune-up and the chain sharpened so we're gonna get that bad boy going give her a little love but yeah he's got a lot of use out of that and then i got another couple of surprises in the mail so let's see let me clear some of this stuff out of here. <laughs> Get all this crap out of here. Get some of these axe handles and stuff out of here. Axe heads. I need to put a handle on this one that Eric gave me too. Man, I got junk everywhere. We'll put these over here. Because... I got me a prize today, a surprise today in the mail. I thought Christina ordered something from Amazon and I was like, what, what the heck is this? And, and then I got to looking at it and you know what it is? It is a really cool endoscope camera for inspecting the cylinders on these chainsaws. Look at that. You plug it into your, I haven't got a chance to mess with it, but you plug it into your um, phone and then you can look inside the chainsaw cylinders and see how, you know, see what kind of damage you got without having to tear the whole saw apart. So you can inspect the cylinders and everything. And the guy that sent it to me, oh, what are these? Some kind of little tip adapter things and stuff. But anyways, the guy that sent this to me was old Clint. Clint at uh, Clint's Chainsaws and More. He was telling me about these and how, you know, it's been a game changer for him. And I was like, oh, well, I'm going to have to check that out. And the next thing I know here, it shows up at my door. He done, he done bought me one. Yeah, old Clint, he's so cool. So yeah, Clint done got that for me. Thank you, Clint. I'm going to have to try that out. Man, I, 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 I can't believe, I can't believe he got it for me. That's so cool. And then... Yeah, I just, I just can't believe the community we got here. Oh, let me get some stuff out of the way. And then this, this box here, let me open it up. But yeah, thank you, Clint. I really appreciate you, man. That is so nice. I always feel, I always feel bad when people send me stuff. You know, send, send me gifts like that. It's like you feel like you're not worthy or something, but... I appreciate it, man. That's so cool. I'll, I'll get you back. I'll get you back with something. And then, we got this box here that we got from Brody. No, not Brody. Bodie. I keep, I always screw his name up. Bodie. B-O-E-D-Y. Bodie at the Novice Lumberjack. Check out his channel. He's pretty cool. He's sort of crazy like me. Maybe maybe he's even a little nuttier than me. And he's really good. 
he's really good um, with his with his video editing and all his special effects and stuff because he actually went to school for that for film for film and that kind of stuff but anyways he's got this he's got this crazy project he wants to do for um halloween which is like you know way in the future but that's cool because better start on it now than later but he's got look at this <coughs> look at this bad boy this is his uh the ash the, the saw from um, the evil dead Oh, she got some. She got some sawdust in her. But yeah, the saw from the Evil Dead. It's an XL12 that he painted up all fancy. Look at that thing. But I guess it needs some love. He, I think he, he wasn't sure if it has an ignition problem or what. But he thought maybe I could get her running and dress her up a little more. Maybe do a bigger bucking spike and a cool muffler. But this is the Evil Dead, Dead saw. I guess they had an XL12 in there. Was one of the saws that they used. And then, and then I think they used the Super Two in like the second movie or something like that. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't actually seen the movies. I'm gonna have to watch them. But yeah, look at that thing. It's got the candy red paint, candy apple red paint job on it. That's cool. Put her up here. So yeah. So I guess he wants to do one of those. You know those. Uh, whack off those whack off videos that he does where one the one guy goes against the other guy so yeah i guess he's gonna do some crazy halloween version so we got to get this bad boy running we got to get her going till then okay so yeah that was just my crazy little update oh and justin's 2100 over there i've been fighting with the carburetor on that thing i got i think i got a bad carburetor site um I had another carburetor that I rebuilt and put on it, and I haven't tested it yet, so I'm going to see how that goes. So the 2100 is almost ready. I put new crank seals in it, and uh, so yeah, she should be in good shape now. So we'll get that thing running, and then we'll see how she runs and cuts. So yeah, that's my little midweek update for you, for you guys. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Everybody excited for spring. We got some good weather here, so I'm excited for all the projects we got to do. This is so cool. Three more friends for the collection, and then a couple of XL12s to fix up and get running. So yeah, all right guys, that's my update. We'll see you on the next one.